So we're here at Lennar Connect in Hong Kong, and I'm with Nicholas Charbonnet, and he's a video blogger, armdevices.net, probably heard of it, watch stuff on it, it's awesome. Um, so I guess I wanted to start with a bit of uh, your backstory and how you got into video blogging, um, and how you, uh, you know, took on this focus on ARM. And so uh, since 2001, uh, actually 2000 I think, even before, there was uh, these MP3 players that were running on a CD, CD MP3 players. I'm pretty sure they were running an ARM processor already. Hmm. And then uh, after that, um, Arcos came and did one with a color screen. And I was like, I sent him an email and said, uh, how about making it v play video? Hmm. And uh, like within some months, they they got the best price at Comdex, which now is finished. And uh, so I spent like nights and days uh, on the forum. There was a forum on Yahoo about Arcos back then. So I was already a fanboy since 2001. Hmm. And they came with this awesome device that could do everything already in 2001. It's like it could record video, the playback DivX files in 2001, a portable with 20 gigabytes of hard disk. It's like 20 gigabytes is more than the iPhone today. I mean, it's crazy. And that was like 2000, 10 years ago. Hmm. So I was a fan of that. And uh, a few years later, the Intel came in and said, we want to compete with the, these kinds of tablets. They, they made MIDs. Hmm. So I started a website called arcosfans.com. Uh, so 2005, around there, 2004, I had, uh, even before, 2003, I already had the, before I started the forum, there was a, uh, and so, so I did, uh, I, I can continue, it's okay? Yeah, 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 of course. Yeah, so uh, 2004, I went to Sibit in, in Hanover, because it's just the bus ride, it's a few hours from Copenhagen, like three, four hours from Copenhagen, it's pretty easy to go there, 200 Danish corner is like 30 US dollars to take the bus to go to that conference in the morning and then come back at night. And I thought I would want to go there because I checked on the Arcos website and said they were going to be at that conference. I've never been to a consumer electronics show before. So 2004, I go and make a, an interview with the marketing guy from Arcos and I get hundreds of thousands of views because it gets on Slashdot. And uh, it was before YouTube and I had to pay for the hosting and uh, it cost $2,000 in hosting. Just to, and I was also using BitTorrent to, to spread the file and got so many seeds. It was crazy. People thought it was cool. It was like a, a Qtopia based uh, embedded Linux on an OMAP uh, processor already in 2004 hmm. with applications, 3.5 inch uh, screen. So I thought, hey, this is cool. So many views. So let's go to the next conference and next. And so I've been to every conference since 2004. Nice. So what sort of things are you doing this week at um, Lenar Connect? So, uh, uh, Linaro is, I mean, it's, it sounds awesome, like fixing or making Linux perfect on ARM powered devices is kind of like the big challenge. And uh, even though I'm not a programmer, but I, I try to ask uh, questions so to, to all these experts that are here, and it's really awesome. They, um, the potential of them telling their stories of what they're working on. Um, I, they, they can talk in theory they could talk for hours and it could be interesting <laughs> the whole time even for people who don't, don't have any idea what they're talking about or actually you can't have an idea I mean you just have to yeah listen it's pretty cool so uh, what are some of the other many many devices in this pile here so um, uh, like uh, last year I went to, to Shenzhen uh, while I went to the Hong Kong fairs, there's like four or five Hong Kong fairs twice a year. And they're all around Hong Kong and in Shenzhen and in Guangzhou. So uh, a year ago I went there and I got uh, my first uh, $80 phone, which I used for nine months as my main phone. But I, I left that one in Denmark. But now there's a new um, MediaTek, uh, Cortex A9. And uh, so this is, a f this is taking over the market in Shenzhen. Uh, Cortex A9 with ice cream sandwich, super smooth, and there's also a five inch size. So, and uh, people are going quite crazy on the internet. Also, it's mainly because of the price. I mean, hmm. the target is $100, 100 US dollars. Right now, this is more like uh, 150 maybe, including all the margins that the sellers take and stuff. It's huh. also around 150, but... Uh, what, what's the screen size on that? So this is a five inch. 
And there's a problem with selling this in, uh, in Europe and the USA, I guess, because uh, if you compare it with the Galaxy Note, it's kind of similar. Uh, that's kind of a problem, but it might also be because many of the Shenzhen companies are kind of startups. You know, mm. they, they're not huge, they don't have a huge design team in terms of making the industrial design. And uh, so it's easier to just take a mold that's already kind of like similar to something that exists. Right. And they put it in the machine and uh, it kind of looks good when it, they put it together at the end. And uh, this is uh, sadly also uh, similar to an HTC device, but sadly, I don't know. In China, they don't care so much if it copies or not. But yeah. um, that's, that's pretty cool. And there's a new uh, all-winner box chip, like three, four months ago, nobody was talking about uh, uh, them, all-winner. They come in and they win the whole market. They, <laughs> I mean, uh, it's pretty crazy. And this is a um, decent uh, industrial, uh, I think it's decent design. This is one of those open designs, so it's actually legal to sell worldwide, this one. 8.8 .8 millimeters uh, with a 1024 by 600 screen, and it's gonna be like 80 US dollars, something like that. And, and who makes that? So this is um, uh, this is just some small f small Shenzhen factory. Uh, they call Sane, for example, or they call uh, Hongda, or they, they might just have fifty employees hmm. putting stuff together, even well, less sometimes. That, and that's this is really beautiful. Yeah. So so I mean, this is sub one hundred dollars for a pretty decent screen and decent design. And if you want even uh, cheaper, I have another one. It's in here. This is near sub 50. And it's actually the same CPU. It's just a cheaper screen, uh, 800 times 480. And this is totally 49 bucks. $49 wow. for an ice cream sandwich, and it's smooth. And that's a, a Cortex A9? This Cortex A8 still. Okay, A8. Box chip. But uh, so that was a month ago. And now I went back. Uh, because uh, the conference here is not far from Shenzhen, so I went there two, three days before the conference, hmm. and now dual core is is everywhere. Uh, there, there's some new dual cores coming out. The Rock Chip is making a dual core. Amlogic is making a dual core. Um, probably even Box Chip is coming with dual cores, and uh, there's a free scale, hmm. even quad core coming, and all these cheap devices. So that's there's there's lots of things going on. Is so the the question is. Are there too many processors? Are there, is there enough demand so everybody's happy at the end of the day? Or is it, do they really have to fight each other out of the market and who's gonna get more market share? Yeah. My guess is that the market is so huge that everybody is gonna profit out of it in the ARM ecosystem. I don't know, but I guess. Yeah. So earlier you mentioned that um, your ambitions are getting bigger and you'd like to be more like in Gadget. Yeah, so it's a long time dream uh, uh, of me to to destroy to. No, no, that's not true. But uh, <laughs> I'd like to get, uh, of course, uh, um, maybe more independent in the way I could go to more conferences, even or perhaps uh, work together with some other bloggers and get more content and get more subscribers, more viewers, more. I don't know. Maybe it's fine how it is. I don't need to grow. I don't know. But uh, the, the idea is, um, so this is NDA, I'm gonna tell you the new, the new concept. <laughs> and this, this is a world premiere, I'm telling you right now. <laughs> and by the time this video comes on, how, how long time do you think it takes? Um, probably it takes about a week, because we don't have time to edit it while we're here, but. So by the time this video is online, hopefully, I have this new system up that's um, allowing, because I get so many comments, people say, how can they buy these th things? So I have a new system mm -hmm. I wanna set up, um, a membership system on my it's it's, it's like Murdoch you know like, <laughs> this is, I'm gonna do it's like the New York Times or like a Washington Journal or something like that. so the idea is $20 per year hmm. and people can get uh, special access to business cards scans or pictures of business cards of all the people that I interview in the under the video hmm. that's one of the things so if buyers and resellers and distributors uh, watch a lot of my videos. I, I have some tips from people that say, hey, we watch your video and now we're distributing this all over there. Or, or uh, I get lots of comments like, hey, can you give me the contact of the people you filmed there? And uh, like, okay, cool, I'll send you. But now I'm gonna do kind of like, this is like a premium thing. So yeah. if you wanna have all the business cards, it's gonna be $20 per year. 
And if you are happy and if you want to pay more, you would be happy, welcome to click on the PayPal button and you <laughs> donate even more. And uh, the other thing you get with the $20 is that you get access to, hopefully it's going to be smooth, I'm hoping that it's going to work fine and all that, uh, buy these devices directly from the factory. Hmm. So if I find some cool devices and if I can trust kind of uh, the factory, if, I, if it sounds like they are real, mm -hmm. I mean, I'm going to film the whole thing. So I'm filming the factory, filming the, 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 the company, the headquarters. I'm filming the guy that's in charge, kind of. And I'm going to try to do it like that, that uh, people can pay. And I'm not taking any cut. That's the idea also. I'm not going to try to take a percent or whatever. You, you pay, let's say, $49 for this one. It's going to start at like 55 actually. Hmm. 55 and they would sell it, send it to you with DHL directly from Shenzhen, the whole world. Hmm. That's the idea. You can buy one, you can buy 20, you can buy 50. And, uh, but that's a membership only thing. So I'm going to try to do it so the, um, basically uh, the hope is that I can afford to go to Shenzhen uh, regularly maybe. Hmm. I would like to go there maybe not every month but every two months like pretty often and go and look for new devices and the coolest ones, hopefully it's going to work fine that people can just click and buy from my website. That's kind of like uh, anti in gadget, if you <laughs> because uh, because uh, in theory, I would need to have a journalist in integrity, right? And yeah, and uh, journalists supposedly are not supposed to sell what they talk about. I guess, ah. I guess in theory, right? <laughs> but uh, I'm gonna try to. I don't care. <laughs> so uh, I really don't care. Uh, I mean. I do care. Do I care? Yeah, I care. But I don't care. <laughs> yeah. So if you, uh, so hopefully this device, for example. But the problem with this is, you know, I don't want to go to jail, so I have to be careful. If it, if it's a copy of an HTC, I cannot be involved in putting you in contact with the, with the factory. In theory, I shouldn't. I shouldn't touch. <laughs> I can't touch this. To, you know, <laughs> I have to be careful about that. And there's also copies of uh, Galaxy Nexus copies of all the Samsung device and of course they're cool because even though they don't have the same CPU as the originals the box is same so it's not gonna break I can try no I'm gonna drop it but you know uh, but uh, for these phones hopefully there will be some open designs and those I can link to because right now I'm, I'm afraid to link to you know even though I'm not taking I don't know I don't know about law but are you a lawyer no, <laughs> no? So, uh, but these devices, I think there's no problem because uh, this is not copying anything. So, uh, in theory, there should be no problem. Uh, just put it up. Hmm. Hopefully, it's just PayPal. But if people want to buy more than 20, for example, or something like that, maybe there's a way they can send the money with a bank transfer. And hopefully, there's no scandal. I mean, I'm going to put up a big warning and say, I'm not, uh, what's it called, responsible. I don't know if I can <laughs> do that, but I'm going to do like... Uh, no support, no warranty, no nothing. If you want directly from Shenzhen, click here. I don't know if it's illegal or not. <laughs> Maybe there can be an optional warranty, but that's complicated because then yeah. some guy needs to have extra devices somewhere in Shenzhen and they need to, I don't know. But uh, maybe you don't care about warranty. Do you care about warranty? Not really. Not really? On your camera? On the camera I do, but. <laughs> yeah. So that's uh, some of the stuff that I'm doing. Uh, so, so for last, do you want me to talk more, or should I talk? I talk too much um, already. Uh, maybe we should wrap wrap it up a bit. But uh, yeah. Um. So the, the last six months, I was using this. This is cool. So uh, yeah, uh, you should tell the story. Yeah. So so this this company, I did a video with them, uh, copying GoldenEye. This is kind of like a prototype, and. Uh, so I've been, I, I borrowed, I send them an email, I say, okay, I borrow one just to try to have fun with it and try to, I want to live stream on Hangout while I see a live chat here. It hasn't really worked yet because it's a Windows CE and it's not very flexible and all that, but uh, mm. uh, I was at CES. I was walking around at the Samsung booth and then uh, Sergey Brin and the Google, Google X team, they come up and say, what is this? And I'm like, try it on. And for 10, 15, 20 minutes, they're like, playing with it that is cool hmm. and three months later they announced Google Glass so this is similar and I think it's it's um, um, there's lots of emerging opportunities with the, with the ARM CPUs it's not only tablets it's not only phones yeah and as soon as those get too cheap 
find a new market. There's going to be wearable computing. There's going to be watches. This is like the Pebble you've heard about on Kickstarter. Mm -hmm. But this is like two years ago, I got this e-ink watch. But uh, uh, so there's going to be wearable computing. You're going to have ARM processors in your hair or <laughs> it's going to be everywhere. And it's only, uh, there's already one million ARM processors uh, shipped every hour. So is um, there's no reason not to have an arm process in the pillow in a couple of years from now. <laughs> Just to measure the heat or something and adjust something. Hmm. So that's going to be... I, I'm sure there's going to be lots of things to continue to blog about on my blog, I hope. Yeah, yeah. And that's a good note to, to end on. Uh, what is your blog? Armdevices.net. So thanks for watching. Thanks yeah. for the interview. Yeah, thank you. Thanks, thanks for taking the time and thanks for coming to uh, Lenore Connect. That's cool.